everyone, this is Carol. Welcome to the official channel of VideoProc. Today we will show you how to make a video like this using VideoProc. Don't worry, even if you are completely new to video editing. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the following 9 steps and teach you how to edit a video from scratch. Before we jump into it, make sure you have set up VideoProc in your computer. You can find a link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get started. As you launch your software, the project panel will pop up automatically. This is where you can customize your project name, project location, video resolutions and frame rates. Currently, VideoProc supports video editing up to 4K 120fps. But for general editing, we usually go for 1080p and 30fps. It's the most commonly used resolutions in YouTube video. All these settings could be easily modified according to your lead later on. Let's take a browse through what we have here in the main interface. At the top left is the media library. This is where we are going to place our clips and all of our media files needed for the editing. Click the icon above to switch to other menus like transitions, titles and effects. Now move to the middle part of the screen. This will drop us into a preview panel. In here, you could check your editing results in real time. On the right hand is the inspector where you could change the properties of the videos. Here is a toolbar, and at the bottom of the interface is a timeline. To start our way, we are going to choose a background music for the video. In that way, you can set a mood for your video. Clicking here, it will pop up your file window. Find one or multiple pieces of music that you want for your video, together with the footage that you are going to build a video from. Click open here, or you could simply drag them all over and drop them in the software. The system will sort your files out automatically, and you don't have to do anything about it. After importing, you could start your editing work. For this video, we will go editing the music first, while you could follow your own preference to decide your editing flow. And since the video that I'm working on is about surfing, I add an ocean wave sound in the opening and put the background music in another audio track. To edit the music, select the audio and click on here and set fade in and fade out for your music. The next, we will move to video editing. Generally, the ordinary footage that we shoot would be very long, but sometimes we only need just a small part of it. And this is where Split comes to add. Well, drag your footage to a video track at the top. Don't forget to mute the video if it comes with a soundtrack. If you want to do more precise editing, hover your mouse on the time runner and drag it to your right to enlarge your timeline. In this way, you can see more frames within the timeline window. Find the left side or the starting point of the clip that you want to put in your video. Click on the split button here in the toolbar. Or right click the clip and choose split. Use the same way to split the other end. And here you will have your chopped clip. You could follow the same steps to split the other footage. One great thing about editing is that you could kick over the traces and let the imagination fly. Like time and speed control. Well, speaking of speed, the surfing movement in this part is sick, man. And yet, we could apply variable speed to empower its deflation. To do that, select the clip, click the speed button on the toolbar, and here will pop up the speed editor window. Choose the bullet preset. Drag the playhead to a starting point of two frames. Slow down the scenes of the middle part and ramp up the rest of the scenes. Now let's play it. Well, it is perfect. After you get what you want, click Apply Speed, and here it's done. And you could go with other Bezier curves, or customize your own speed revamping settings based on your preferences. After finishing these edits, the video still seems kinda rough. 
but don't worry, we can use some magic to enrich your details. Click the transitions bottom upper left. Within transitions effect, there are lots of different things that you can use to control how you display your video. Double click to preview the effect. Choose some transition effect that you want to leverage in your editing to level it up. Probably because of shooting in different parameter settings or different lights, the color tone in this clip is incompatible with other footage. Don't worry, we could do some to get that repaired. Click the color in inspector. Adjust your parameters like exposure, contrast, and saturation to get your desired results. Or if you want to save some work, turn to the 3D lots in the color editor. There are a bunch of options and pick one you want to work with. Well, this is how to change color of a clip. Follow the same steps to colorize the following clips. In that way, your video will be more appealing. On top of that, another thing you can do is to add a fact. To insert a fact for whatever reason you have, click on the fact. Double click to preview the fact. Here, I'm gonna go with the shake and add them here to give the video a little more feeling. Don't forget to add a text, a description, or whatever to your video. Click the title tab in the media library and choose a template that you like. Drop it to a subtitle track and click on the add text bottom right here. Open the text editor window. Here, you can find a basket of text styles and animations. And you could also adjust the parameters like text size, position, color, and font. After you finish, click Apply. Alright, now your video is all set. But wait, it is not an end. Click the Export button and wait for the software to get all the work together. Make sure you enable hardware acceleration and have all your information verified. Include basic settings, video properties and all that kind of stuff. And you could also select high quality to export with best quality. Now click start to export. Congrats! Here you got your very first video. Go sharing the video in your social media or with your friends. Well, this is the end of today's tutorial. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe our channel for our next video releases. We will share with you more useful and powerful tactics for video editing. Alright, we'll see you soon in our next videos. Bye, love you guys.